In this video, I will be taking a critical look at a YouTube ad which promotes a supposedly magical bracelet that creates success in your life. Hey, critical thinkers. About a week ago, I started getting this ad in my YouTube streams and I didn't watch the whole ad yet by myself, but I watched enough to see that it makes ridiculous claims and tries to convince its viewers that this bracelet actually has magical powers. Unfortunately, many people do believe that. I mean, the video itself has over 4 million views. That probably means that it's investing a lot of money into advertisements, but that also signifies that they're getting money back. So people are buying this crap. But since the ad was so ridiculous, I couldn't stop myself from not sitting down together with you and taking a critical look at it. So right now I'm going to turn to my screen, we'll watch the ad together and apply critical thinking to it. The ad is ready and let's get started. When my wife felt that I could no longer provide luxury for her, she left me and it broke my heart. All right, so what stands out for me already is that first of all, there's no name or surname and even more so, it's a 3D background. Where's the proof that this person is real? Where's the proof that the story is real? It all began when my grandma gave me an odd looking bracelet and told me to never lose it as it brings good luck. The next day, I struck a huge win in the lottery and started my car business. So apparently he's making a claim that as soon as he got the bracelet, he won a lottery ticket and then continued to open up a successful business. Now this is clearly suggested as a real story, but yet again, we have no name, we have no surname, we have no company name. There's no way to fact check it. But on our vacation in Hawaii, I forgot to take off my bracelet while swimming and it got lost in the ocean. A few days later, all bad news came crashing down on me. A car that was bought for me was involved in an accident. So this is the moment where I realized that yes, he is claiming a direct correlation between the bracelet and his supposed success. Just as all hope seemed lost, my brother called me and told me that he was doing better than ever. He excitedly told me that he had got a bracelet that I had once and things had gotten better for him ever since. When I was first watching this ad, I was hoping that maybe he's not trying to claim a supposed correlation between his bracelet and his supposed success. But there's again, he's hitting it for the third time. He's trying to make a claim that the bracelet is the game changer in his life. Told him that I lost mine, so asked him how he got it. He recommended me to an online store and I quickly bought several of them. So this is kind of funny too, how they are directly trying to manipulate the viewer. If we jump back to the beginning of the video, he's saying that his grandmother gave him this bracelet. And yeah, of course she could have bought it online as well, but it does create that impression that it has to be some special bracelet because it's his grandmother that gave it to him. And I presume that's how they try to manipulate you into believing the legitimacy of it. Also to note how he specifically said he went online and bought several of them, which is again, a suggestion that you should buy more. According to Wikipedia, Feng Shui is a pseudoscience originating from China. So this is really crazy. He's taking Wikipedia as his source of information. He specifically says it's a pseudoscience, but he kind of says it like it's a science. He does not say any precautions about it. Like, oh, it's a pseudoscience, so maybe I shouldn't believe it. But again, he says it almost as if it's a good thing. And I suspect that's for people who do not even know what pseudoscience means. I learned that many famous people and companies in the world use Feng Shui too. So here are the marketing companies clearly using authority figures and popular people as proof that it works. And they're going even as far as to showing Leonardo DiCaprio himself. Now, I don't think that changes anything, but I'm just curious to quickly check if there's anything on Google about Feng Shui and Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, so there's an article, what do green design Feng Shui and Leonardo DiCaprio have in common? Simply put, mother nature. Okay, so that's pretty much nothing. Okay, there's something about Feng Shui desk. So it's just a quick scan on Google, but I'm quite certain if Leonardo DiCaprio would be a big fan of Feng Shui, probably would see one or two articles about it. The fact that it's hard to find an article where Leonardo DiCaprio speaks about that already makes it even more suspicious. The marketing company is using him as a way to create a sense of authority in making the statement believable. Sure enough, through some unexplainable energy forces, I found opportunity in my life again. One of my previous clients called me to start a luxury watch business together and our business took off in just a week. What also kind of strikes me is how they're using yellow letters to signify exactly what people want to hear. Each bracelet is carefully handmade and had to go through rituals that bless the bracelet with good energy. So first of all, they're showing a Buddhist monk doing it. And I wonder, do they really do that? If it's really true, probably there should be some info on their website or kind of a video of the process of how they do it. So let's check their website. So this is the website which sells it and um, not much information here. There's reviews and order now. Oh, submitting. Oh, I don't want that. There's no information about the handmade thing. And the guy is not there either. I mean, the speaker who presented that whole thing as a point of reference. 
There's also the usual marketing trick of saying, hurry, there's 13 bracelets left. This is pure nonsense, I guarantee. It's just a way to create a sense of scarcity that you would feel an urge to buy it and would have less time to think about it. It's a really common marketing strategy trick. So basically everything about this website is screaming shady to me. Okay, let's finish watching the ad and to see if it has any more surprises for us. It enhances the flow of positive energy greatly especially in the area of wealth. Again, I realize I'm asking too much, but where's the evidence? Where's the statistics? How can you make this claim? I mean, the fair way of saying it would be to say it is claimed or it's supposed or some magicians say it, but you cannot make it just as a statement. I will now teach you how to wear it properly. <laughs> First, you need to wear the bracelet on your dominant hand, the hand that you use to write with. So no, this part, it's again playing with your psychology. By giving you specific ways to do it, it creates this illusion that there is the right way and the wrong way. And if there's the right way, then you get the sense that, oh, then it really works. And if it doesn't, you can always be blamed that you just didn't word correctly. You also need to make sure that the head of the PCU <laughs> is outward so as to draw energy from all directions. Do not allow others to touch it. All right, so here he's creating conditions. So yet again, if it doesn't work and you complain about it, the company can easily say to you, oh, probably somebody touched it and you didn't just see it. One more thing that just occurred to me, you know, if this guy is really legit and he has all these success, why aren't they showing some photos of him, some videos of him? That would make it at least more believable. But now he's standing in a 3D background, not saying his name, not giving any information, not giving any leads to us, and we're apparently supposed to believe him. But yet again, there's plenty of people who believe that. One person shared how it stopped the illness that has been killing her whole family. Another finally passed the board exam after failing seven times. So yet again, this is all on the level of hearsay. He's making claims without any proof and he's expecting you to believe it. Watching a video like this one, I'm reminded even more how important critical thinking is. And the fact that so many people don't have critical thinking, ads like these, they prey on that. So the next time you see an ad like this, don't forget to turn on your critical thinking. For more critical thinking videos, check out this playlist right here. Also, if you have some other ad or video that you would like me to take a critical look at, let me know about it in the comments. This is Rokas and let's keep creating a culture of critical thinking together.